Hi everyone, Prof Gordon here from Exam Success. And we're gonna go through the answer to this question. So you have to be honest with yourself. When you looked at it, were you able to get the correct answer for the correct reasons, not just guessing? Okay, I mean, that's what's really critical here. So that's what I want you to be aware of. The correct answer is choice C. All right, so now we have to know why it is choice C. So uh, looking at these choices, let's start with uh, A. Frontenac is selling down inventory faster than it can replace it through additional purchases. So this is referring to a LIFO liquidation. And now we are not really given enough information to talk about a LIFO liquidation, dipping down to lower inventory levels, selling more inventory faster than it can purchase. Okay, these would be signals uh, for LIFO liquidation on our exam. Uh, if anything, our inventory is increasing, okay, uh, so it's not decreasing. All right, that may not be enough to crack the code. Let's uh, carry on here. Let's uh, look at uh, choice B. Yearly change in Frontenac's receivables turnovers indicate a tightening of credit standards. Okay, well, now let's do some calculations. We've got to do a couple of these here. So let's calculate the receivables turnover. So at T equal to zero, the initial case. So the turnover is sales over the accounts receivable. I know it's over average accounts receivable, but let's just use the period uh, uh, values. So at time zero, the sales were 1 million. So I'm gonna leave off a lot of the zeros. I'm just gonna write a thousand. We'll leave off those last three zeros. And the accounts receivable, they were 300,000. So I'm just gonna write it as 300. So the initial receivables turnover was 3.33 times. And at time period one, at T1, T equal to one, sales over accounts receivable. Well, now the sales are 1,100,000 and the accounts receivables are 500,000. So this is a receivables turnover of 2.2 times. Okay, so now we can see that the receivables turnover, it has gone down. So is this an indication of tightening credit standards? I mean, what the heck does that mean, tightening credit standards? You must be honest with yourself, okay? So tightening credit standards means that we are not giving out accounts receivable. We're not giving our customers credit. They can't buy on credit. Doesn't look to me like this is occurring, okay? As a matter of fact, our accounts receivable is going up. If anything, this might be, you know, lower credit standards, okay? Uh, all right, so now uh, there it is. Uh, let's look at the next uh, uh, choice here. The yearly changes indicate that Frontenac is using aggressive accounting policies. All right, so what are aggressive accounting policies? Well, these are policies that boost your income, uh, they boost your revenue, okay? These are things to make uh, your uh, financial reporting look better, more impressive than it is. So uh, let's go through a couple of calculations and here's what we need to know, and this is what's in our curriculum. So let's calculate the growth rate on our sales. So GR, growth rate on sales. So all we're gonna do is just simply look at the ending value, which is uh, 1.1 million. So I'm just gonna leave off the zeros. And we'll divide that by our beginning value, which is 1 million. And we'll subtract one, we'll multiply by 100. And we're gonna end up with the sales or the revenue growing at 10%. All right, now let's compare this growth of sales to the accounts receivable growth. Okay, so let's 
calculate this, the accounts receivable. We'll do that up in the corner here. So the GR, the growth rate for accounts receivable. So we will do the ending value, which is 500,000. We'll leave off the zeros over the beginning value, which is 300,000, leave off the zeros, minus one. I'm just doing end minus beginning over beginning. We'll multiply by 100. And the growth rate on the accounts receivable is 67% if I round it off here, okay? So I'm rounding this off. And you got to see where we're going with this. I mean, okay, stick with it here, 67%. Okay, so now uh, we can start to fill in some of the CFA curriculum uh, signals that we need to pick up on. And our curriculum definitely tells us, okay, it definitely tells us that if the accounts receivable is growing at a faster rate than the revenue or the sales, then this is an indication that the company may be using aggressive accounting policies, okay? So I want you to pick up the signals here, okay? So, uh, so uh, the, if, if the, if the uh, accounts receivable is growing at a faster rate than the sales, then uh, this is an indication of aggressive accounting policies. It's also an indication of lower credit standards. Okay, well, I'll summarize that in just one minute. Okay, now let's uh, let's look at the uh, the inventory here, and let's just calculate the growth rate on the inventory. So again, I'll do the ending value seven fifty divided by the beginning value five hundred. I'll subtract one. This is just end minus beginning over beginning. I'll multiply by hundred, and this comes to fifty percent growth. Okay, so now when we compare the growth rate on our inventory to the growth rate on our sales, our curriculum definitely tells us that this may be an indication of aggressive accounting policies. Okay, so again, this is, you know, CFA uh, Institute giving us their signals, okay, that we need to pick up on. And now finally, let's just summarize this. We'll extend this down and we'll write our summary here. This is the need to know. This is what you need to be going into the exam with. This is straight from the, the curriculum. So if the growth rate of the accounts receivable is greater than the growth rate of your sales, then this is an indication of one, aggressive, A-G-G-R, aggressive accounting policies. And the other indication from our CFA curriculum, and this just might be a trivial point, so I'm going to mention it here. This is what, you know, other people skip it. We've got to know it here. So we got to get that extra mark here. So this is it. It's also could be an indication that the inventory is becoming obsolete. So inventory obsolescence, obsolescence. Okay, let's make sure that we can spell it correctly. Okay, so if the inventory is becoming obsolete, it's piling up. Okay, there it is, okay. Now, uh, the other conclusion that I want you to take away uh, uh, so of course, uh, of course, I've mixed them up here. So let's make sure that we that we uh, we link these together here. Okay, so this is if the growth rate on the inventory is greater than the growth rate on the sales, then the inventory is uh, is uh, piling up. It could be an indication of obsolescence. And that's what I want you to take away here, okay? Make sure that we've got that summary. So the key points that I want you to be aware of, okay? Can't even get this out, it's so exciting. <laughs> if the growth rate on accounts receivable is greater than the growth rate on sales, this is an indication of aggressive accounting policies. And it's also an indication of lower, lower credit standards. Okay, that's straight from our curriculum. 
if the growth rate on inventories is greater than the growth rate on sales, this is an indication that the inventory is uh, growing in obsolescence. It's just piling up. It's also an indication of aggressive accounting policies. So there it is. Those are the two points what you need to crack the code. Yeah, I hope you found this to be of help and you picked up an extra mark. If you, if you want to go through more of these, uh, where we're going to go through each line so that you understand why the answers are correct, why the other answers are incorrect, okay, then hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'm going to be putting these out on a regular basis. You don't want to miss it. It's going to give you those extra marks that'll push you over the passing score. All right, so we'll end it right here.